Unfortunately for Jerry, he only managed to earn himself a start from the bench as his boss made five changes to try and turn around Thistle's losing habit. But perhaps they could have done with his finishing ability after only nine minutes. Kenny Milne worrying the pigeons there. That was it from a positive point of view for Thistle for the first 45. After that, it was all hearts. Goal number one came from Andy Kirk. Kirk earning his first start of the season, taking advantage of some loose, to say the least, Thistle defending and slotting Cooley home. Mark de Vries played perfect provider for goal number one. For number two, his finishing wasn't too bad either. Paul Hartley's cross caused consternation in the Jags backline and the Dutchman's fifth goal of the season was one to remember. Only three minutes later, Hearts made it three, and this one came straight from the training ground. Hartley's near post corner flicked on by Kevin McKenna, and Andy Kirk claimed his second of the match. Jerry Britton came on in the 33rd minute due to an injured Andy Thompson, but did nothing to turn around Thistle's first half fortunes. Minutes into the second half, Mark de Vries had the chance to give Hearts a four goal advantage, much to the relief of the home support, his scoring boots were still drinking their half-time cup of tea. Jerry Collins threw caution to the wind in the 52nd minute by bringing on Ricky Waddle and Emmanuel Panther, and the two almost combined to offer the Jags a lifeline a minute later, but David Rowson cut out Waddle's run. That kind of sums up Thistle's afternoon, but there was one highlight for them ten minutes later. It all came after the game of head tennis in the box. Are you still counting? Waddle did get the chance and took it very well after Jerry Britton's cross wasn't cleared by the Hearts backline. No one to impede the Thistle sub this time, and 3-1 it was. Any thoughts of a comeback, though, were dashed with only 17 minutes left to play. Man of the match Andy Kirk forced his way into the box, committing the party defence. Stephen Simmons showed aggression and commitment to make it four. Simmons' first goal of the season and only his third appearance as a sub triggered a mass evacuation of the Firhill faithful. I'm sure you can understand the despair, but they did miss Thistle's last-minute opportunity, which was more a result of Hearts relaxing rather than any incisive build-up. Craig Gordon, though, was alert enough to pluck the ball from Jerry Britton's head. Hearts back up to third, Thistle still in the drop zone. I just think that maybe for us, have we got that fighting qualities that, that we look for? Um, but we've got to get that way. Unless, it, unless we get the fighting qualities in the team, then the club's going to go one way, and uh, it's not a good way. No, I was disappointed with the way things went, went last week, to be honest with you. And uh, we gave some people who, who have uh, been very patient and waited on the sidelines for opportunities. They got opportunities to play today, and, and I don't think any of them did themselves any harm. Obviously, battle of disappointed. I think that's without a doubt our worst performance of the season. Uh, Hearts went out the park three times and got three goals in the first half, and there was, there was no coming back from it. I think every team goes through a bad period in the season and hopefully uh, we put those early goals and that's, that's it out of the way um, but we really need to start picking up results um, a hell of a quick Thanks for the lift to the throw, however, by the way. No, you want not drop off? Uh, if you could. Right.